Roblox games based on dictators. Yes, they do exist. There are Roblox games that detail some of the most horrific dictators in our world's history. If you thought the North Korean Roblox games were bad, just wait until you see Stalin's terrifying acts recreated in Roblox, as well as some strange obbies about Saddam Hussein. I'm going to take a look at these Roblox games to see why they're made in the first place, and then see how accurate to our history they really are. Alright, so here we have Joseph Stalin, responsible for the deaths of millions. And we've got some games here. Stalin is love, Stalin is life. Uh, uh okay. Communism is love, communism is life. <laughs> All right, fine. What, what's this one about then? Oh, geez, what the heck is that? <laughs> I, I think we're going to need to blur this over here. <laughs> I don't know if I could show this. What happened to their pants? What, what's going on here? So these guys have guns and uh, on the other side, um, I, I'm not even sure I could show this. <laughs> and then we have Joseph Stalin himself. I don't know why he's shirtless, but all right, we won't judge here. Wait, they actually have the communist manifesto in Roblox? What? Oh, I have a hat. Okay. And then uh, what's this? AK-40. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what was I not supposed to do that? Uh oh, I think we weren't supposed to take that out. Hello? Ah! Yeah, you know what? I'm not too sure about this game. I kind of feel like it should be banned. I mean, it is kind of based on history. He did have a lot of people executed. And what's also crazy about Stalin is the way he died as well. Take a look at this video here. How Joseph Stalin's own paranoia led to his death. Okay. Stalin had a strict policy that no one could enter his bedroom without being put to death. He made the decision to trick his guards one night by feigning need and asking for help. He executed them for disobeying his orders when they barged into the room. This proved Man, to be a brutal. fatal oversight. A few months later, while having a seizure in his chambers, Stalin's guards were terrified to enter out of fear for their own safety. They waited okay. hours before checking on him, and by the time they did, it was too late. Stalin was discovered in a deteriorating condition and died three days later. And that's karma for you. Bro died in his own rule. The boy who cried a wolf. I mean, honestly, true. Most experts believe at least 750,000 people were executed during the Great Terror, with more than a million survivors that were forced into labor camps known as gulags. This ruthless and bloody operation caused rampant terror throughout the Soviet Union and impacted the country for many years. Yeah, Stalin was a terror, that's for sure. There's also this game here on Roblox called Stalin Robots. That's right, Stalin Robots. Uh, okay, not much details in this. What is this? <laughs> Reading Rainbow Stalin. Oh, oh th that's nice, I guess. Oh, we've got uh, Putin in here as well. Th that's great. Uh, I'm not sure what the point of this game is. Why are there a bunch of Putin's heads down here? When you're rushing for food, there's no time for Stalin. Wow, that's a great KFC advertisement. Yeah, I feel like there's like a whole propaganda for like uh, Stalin. Uh, I'm getting out of this game here. Yeah, he was like a very paranoid person and hated everyone that disagreed with him. He'd often have secret police who spy on people to arrest and even kill those that opposed him. And sometimes he would just cover it up completely, like this photo right here. The person on the right is a secret police official that worked with Stalin and was often known as Stalin's right-hand man. But shortly after, he fell from Stalin's favor after being usurped by one of his own deputies. He was denounced, secretly arrested, tried in a secret court, and executed. And Stalin would have this covered up by literally erasing him from the photo. Like, this is literally one of the first edited photos in our human history. Like, this is all way before Photoshop was invented. Yeah, aside from the Great Terror, Stalin also caused a major famine which peaked in the winters of 1932 to 1933, where 5 to 7 million people would die of starvation. Yeah, the whole thing was pretty insane. Joseph Stalin was definitely one of the more crazier dictators out there. Alright, but I was surprised by this one. Uh, I looked up Saddam Hussein on Roblox, and there's actually a lot of games about him. Particularly ones such as Saddam Hussein Simulator 2023, where they recreated his hiding place. Let's see, entrance hidden by bricks and rubble. So he had an air vent, a fan, and that that's him. That's Saddam Hussein. Okay, let's check this one out again. Yes. All right, so there's some buildings over there, but I think it's in this rubble. Oh, what's this? This is his hiding spot. Okay. I mean, it's accurate to the picture, I guess. Oh, what is the point of this? Yeah, I'm honestly surprised how many recreations of this image actually exist on Roblox. Like, there's this one here, which may even be more accurate. We have a bigger vent and a bigger fan. Uh, I, guess, I mean, I guess this is nice. Why am I standing like this? Is there is there more to this? Hello? Oh. Whoa! And he's got his gaming system over here. Yo! He has an insane setup. Uh, and then there's this one here, Saddam Hussein's hideout, which is the BBC representation. So this one's actually the most accurate here. Yeah, you can see his head poking out with the fan and the air vent right there. All right, but let's take a look at the video to see how accurate it really is. A hole just the size for one man. I'm gonna okay. take this camera down and 
give you a look. Was this the exact hole? Oh, geez, that's tiny. Tiny little space. Oh yeah, there's the fan. fan. Also connected oh, that's by tiny. The same wire. Oh yeah, and then there's the air vent. Connected to the pipe that goes outside and brings in fresh air. Just enough room to lie down in here, but nothing more than that. Dude, I would and hate to be the, down here. Oh, this is the last thing that Saddam saw as a free man. And this oh, so they're able to find him down here. The first thing that the American forces saw, though in the darkness, when Saddam came out of the hole, he was dressed in a dish dasha and he had his pistol strapped to his hip. Yeah, and if you were wondering why he was arrested in the first place, well, it's because he was convicted of crimes against humanity. According to Google, between 1983 and 1988 alone, he killed more than 30,000 citizens. Yeah, and that's just within five years. And the different things that Saddam Hussein and the Ba'ath Party would use is violence, killing, torture, execution, arbitrary arrest, unlawful detention, enforced disappearance, and various forms of oppression to control the population. Yeah, it sounds like he did a lot of bad things. But back to Roblox, I found this one here, Escape Saddam Hussein obby why is this a thing the zombies are a feature not a bug oh, oh wait there's zombies in this thing what the heck what did i just walk in on this is saddam here <laughs> it's me saddam hussein and i need you help to escape the fb why is there money down here what the heck phew we got past all my credit card debt oh god it's my angry wife oh um did he have multiple wives he had two wives his first wife was his cousin okay back to the game oh look it's the fbi oh no the fb are here we must game end them what dude what is going on here oh look that's his wife thank you i am no longer angry i'm not really sure what i just played just now all right but this next one i'm not even sure i could show this at all it's called saddam hussein um can't say this word here <laughs> simulation of the of saddam hussein <laughs> okay fine yeah I, I can't show this at all i'm gonna have to uh <laughs> we have to blur this out completely <laughs> i mean it is accurate to actual history he was sentenced to death but i'm not sure this is actually allowed on roblox all right but the next dictator i found on roblox is nikolai uh ceausescu ceausescu yeah, he was the president of Romania and was responsible for the deaths of 60,000 people. That's pretty insane. And there are a couple of games about him on Roblox. Um, there's this one that's literally just his last name. Uh, let's check it out. All right, what do we have? Oh, dear. Okay, what is going on here? So we have some soldiers here with weapons pointed at Ceausescu and woman face killer, aka his wife. Yeah, this is actually what happened in real life. Take a look at this video here. The last days of Nikolai Ceausescu. Okay. In December 1989, the Romanian dictator Nicolae Ceausescu ordered an anti-government protest in the western city of Timisoara be put down by force. This event ignited a fire throughout Romania that led to a mass protest in the capital of Bucharest. Ceausescu okay. decided to address his people, believing he could put an end to the unrest. But as he conducted his speech, the crowd began to turn on him, Ooh, heckling it didn't him work. and shouting the name of the city, Timisoara. A visibly shocked Ceausescu was moved inside by his bodyguards, and chaos ensued. The protesters oh, took the capital in a bloody revolution, and the following morning, Ceausescu and his wife tried to flee the country by helicopter, but their pilot faked the threat of air gun fire and landed. Ooh, the pilot was in on it too. The couple were then arrested and tried on Christmas Day. They were found guilty of genocide and illegally gaining wealth. They were sentenced to death by firing squad and executed on Christmas Day. Jeez, that's insane. Yeah, so the charges were being responsible for the deaths of 60,000 victims, offensive destruction of public property by destroying and damaging buildings, explosions in cities, trying to flee the country using 1 billion deposits in foreign banks. Well, it seems like they were both not good people. This person wrote that anyone daring to critique his grandiose views for the future of the country would be removed. Hundreds of thousands of intellectuals, artists, clergy, or peasants were executed through starvation, beatings, inhumane treatments, or worked to death in forced labor camps. Yeah, many of these dictators are equally insane. Some worse than others, though. But yeah, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye!